So the crazy part is that this valve cover was not even like tightened up. Like this bolt, I just tightened, I just tightened it up, but it was loose. And I thought maybe the the hold was stripped or something, but yeah, the rest are fine, I guess. But these grommets are. Look at that. This grommet is gone. This one is so bad. It, it definitely needs to come out and get changed. Cover gasket started cracking there on the bottom. That's what it looks like here. All right, so this is what it all looks like. And this has a helicoil repair in it, actually, which is funny. It does have that, but uh, yeah, we'll make sure she's all good. But I mean, it doesn't look too bad. Obviously, it didn't receive frequent oil changes, but. No, it's it's gonna be okay. Yep. Amazing machine. Waiting on new seals and water pump right now and about to clean this valve cover and reinstall it. Alright, so I got new valve cover gasket and I got six new grommets as well. The old ones were pretty bad. I cleaned it up as much as I could here, but it's not too bad from the inside. Okay, now I'm gonna put these uh, new grommets in this bad boy. Like that. All right, so I've got a bunch of new parts, new water pump, throttle body gaskets, battery terminals. You know, timing stuff, cleaners, I'm about to start putting everything back together. So super exciting, cleaned up all those covers. It's nice. My task is to replace this water pump right now before I do anything else. So I'm gonna start draining this coolant. I'm just gonna loosen this. There's a, actually a petcock underneath, but I'm gonna loosen this hose. Just drain the radiator like that. start working on the suspension today some more got more parts but yeah this hose is actually pretty bad I've got new hose coming I just take this off it's all saturated in oil horrible looking yeah there's a thermostat right here I'm gonna change and this is the water pump there's just uh, four bolts holding it. it's pretty easy actually Right, so the valve core is basically installed it's just this bolt i'm going to add a little bit of sealant because it goes right here and unfortunately i can't use the factory rubber grommet on it because this bolt is just too big because it was repaired and nice it would just happen on camera nice but anyways i'm going to install this bolt i'm just going to add a little bit of sealant around the head so it won't cause any possibility of leakage and the rest of the bolts are nice and German tight, don't over tighten them because you're gonna strip them. All right, so I got the water pump surface all prepped. I uh, have the gasket for it, 
but I'm gonna add just a little bit of sealant around both surfaces of the gasket just in case you know it all feels smooth I usually don't do it but you know just a little bit I'm gonna I'm gonna add just a little bit just so to you know it will avoid any possibilities of uh, a leakage but it's not gonna hurt anything and plus uh, I'm gonna wait for the gasket to cure for 24 hours before I put any coolant in it all right, so I've got a new water pump, gasket, and I'm gonna put a little bit of sealant and reinstall it, four bolts. All right, so I've got the gasket on and sealant on both sides, just not too much. And I'm just gonna set it, torque it, and wait 24 hours for it to cure. All right, water pump is installed, all torqued. Everything looking amazing here. Cool, I'm gonna start working on my cam and crank seals. All right, so hopefully this doesn't create any problems, but I noticed that inside of it, previously someone uh, scored the cam, should probably removing the seal right there. So there's like a small gouge right there where the seal is riding. So I'm gonna try my best to clean everything. And you know, when I install a new seal, hopefully it doesn't leak. So, yeah, I mean, there's still a possibility for a small seepage, but hopefully it's not going to do that. Yeah, so you always have to be really careful in removing the cram cam, uh, crane cam seals and all that because the metal is just really, like, fragile. So, we've got both uh, cam and crank seals. They actually look identical, but I think they still have different part numbers. So, this one I'm holding in my hand right here is uh, for the crank seal. This one is for Cam Seal Fill Pro, so I'm gonna install those. So I added a little bit of oil on the inner lip of the seal and the outer just put a little bit of sealant all the way around just in case. And then I'm gonna use 32 millimeter socket. It fits perfectly around the seal. I'm just gonna push it on straight. Like that. Look at that so nice all right now i have this cleaned up camshaft gear we can go ahead and reinstall that basically like that and then install the bolt you don't have to put anything on the bolt i'm gonna just hand tighten it now i'm gonna tighten it later once the whole belt is on and tightened up of course, if you have an impact gun, it's gonna make it easier. All right, everything is cleaned up here as well, ready to go. We've got the seal ready, brand new seal. I'm taking these off real quick because I want to clean whatever is underneath, behind these. There's a lot of garbage there. A lot of garbage. Just take a look at this. I'm gonna fluid film all this area too. Look at that. All right, now cleaned it all up as much as I could. And now we're gonna fluid film this whole thing everywhere. All this area, even here. Fluid film this guy. Good stuff. Everything there. And there. All right, everything is done here. And then I'm gonna install the liner back on. I've got new tensioner pulley. I'm about to install that. Spring is still good. Just cleaned it every uh, cleaned it all up and we're gonna reuse that. And yeah, this is gonna go on the bottom. There's a slot for it. So this will get torqued down once the belt is on. About to take the axle out. I'm gonna I need to change the brake rotors. So also changing pads. These uh, calipers are okay actually. There's nothing wrong with them. They look kind of fresh, so they were probably replaced. So I'm not gonna do anything about those calipers. But I just want to get these pads out and change those. Still had some life left, but I'm gonna change all this, clean it, make it nice, and reinstall everything back. So. Now the seal off. You have to, you know, 
separate the knuckle from the rotor, which is really funny. Like there's nothing really holding here, like the bearing or anything. So when the bearing gets torqued, it's just the axle and the nut on the other side is just kind of squeezing the bearing together.